Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the shop once again. Today we have two good examples, two vehicles uh, that show why you don't want to use cheap aftermarket phasers on your Ford 5.4 liter three valve engine. And the reason being is they fail right afterwards or a few thousand miles later. And they actually make the vehicle less reliable than it was with the old worn out Ford parts, okay? Case in point, the vehicle behind me went ahead and did a full timing set himself, followed my videos, kudos to him, but he used the cheap aftermarket kit and phasers, okay? Guess what, the vehicle lasted about an hour and it was throwing codes for the cam sensors being intermittent on bank one and two, PO340 and PO344 and PO345 and PO349, okay? The reason being is the cam phaser was coming apart and it wasn't even locking into place, therefore the signal was erratic. So I had to go back into this one, put in Ford phasers and redo the timing set on here and it cost the customer a lot more money just to do it and do it right. So I have this one, I have an 09 Expedition. Again, they bought a really cheap phaser and timing set on eBay probably and the phasers failed before I even finished the timing job. So I'll show you that up close and how that looks. Uh, but let's go over to this vehicle and we'll check it out real quick. Okay, so here are the phasers right here. Look, you know, of course they're brand new. Like I said, they're an hour old. I don't even see a name brand on them. Is that them right there? HDPA CNC? Yeah, well, uh, they didn't last very long at all, okay? And in the end, it cost this customer another $1,500 because they had to go in, redo the timing set, and buy Ford phasers. So now it got even more expensive going in there. So the codes we had before uh, were those PO340, 344, 345, and 349. And every time I started the vehicle up, the signal was so intermittent on both bank one and two, it wouldn't even read uh, the actual VCT error, okay? The lines were solid because the error where it wasn't seeing a, a good cam signal was there from startup, okay? That was a good indication. There's a major problem, both banks. Just put a timing set on there, weren't there before? Yeah, it's pretty obvious, okay? And now as you can see the Ford phasers on there, properly timed and all that good stuff, they're hovering right around zero. Absolutely perfect. This vehicle's not gonna have any issues. And of course, now check engine lights, okay? With Ford phasers. Now let's go over to the other vehicle and I'll show you how these things sound when they fail on the vehicle. All right, so here's the 2009 uh, Expedition. All aftermarket timing components on here, tensioners, chains, guides, all that stuff, and of course the phasers. These phasers, I think, have no name on them at all, uh, whereas the other ones at least had some kind of name on there, so these ones are really cheap. I think I checked this kit, and it's $175 for the complete kit. Chains, guides, tensioners, two phasers, out the door. One Ford phaser wholesale is about $240. So it goes to show what kind of quality can they put into something like this. So all we're gonna do now, this whole engine's timed perfectly right now, and both banks are doing the same thing. We're gonna show you on this one, as I turn the crank manually with the uh, big old breaker bar, this one's gonna pop. And you're gonna see this trigger wheel, which is actually attached to the cam, kind of phase on its own, separate of the phaser sprocket. Okay, this other piece right here, and then it's gonna pop. These should be locked together at base idle. And these keep popping as you go around, both of them. Okay, so just pay attention and you'll see it happen. You see it just did it like that? And that's what it's doing about every rev revolution maybe uh, which takes a while here because where it's tight uh, to get in here and turn this uh, it, it pops like that these you know basically are barely barely any load right now and they're they're already popping and separating from this rocket and the other side does it eventually here too and then this side will do it again you can see what's moving on there see the other side just did it passenger side now let's try to get this driver's side to do it again one more time for the video. Let 
pay for it, wait for it. It's coming. You see that? Not good, not good at all. And that's what you get when you pay those kinds of prices for something like this, you're not gonna get the quality and uh, you actually make the vehicle less reliable than the Ford phasers, which don't do this. They don't separate, they don't come apart internally. Uh, they just get a little bit of clearance issues and have knocking issues. So good, good lesson here. All right, so that right there, I think really drives it home. Those two examples of brand new aftermarket phasers that have failed in a very short period of time. I see it all the time. Anything aftermarket in the phaser department, it seems to not last. Not to mention the rest of the timing components like the guides, the plastic, it's worn through really fast in the aftermarket components. Whereas the Ford ones, you can see them have barely anywhere at 200K. So it just doesn't make sense to use any internal engine parts that are aftermarket, especially the phasers on this engine. They will fail in a very short period of time afterwards. The point is to go into these engines, make them better, make them more reliable, make them more powerful because everything's timed and in sync, it's working right. You don't wanna go backwards after you sunk all that money into it, okay? Case in point right here, I just finished another timing job. Use all four components. Listen to it, it sounds great. No codes, no drivability concerns, out the door. I know this customer can drive back home to Michigan and not have any issues on his way back home or in the future because I used the four components. So. It's just something I want to really get out there and these two examples were able to really hit at home, I think, for a lot of you out there uh, to show exactly what can happen, what does happen quite often. I'll see you guys next time.